Last episode we looked into nadis the energy pathways of our consciousness and its role in our lives. Hello and welcome to PLV Talks. I'm your host Rashmi and today we will dive deep in understanding the seven major chakras or energy centers and how they influence our life and how we can heal them and bring balance to our lives. Without further ado, let's get started. The point where the Ida Pingala Sushumna nadis meet along the spine are called chakras or wheels of spinning divine light. There are at least 114 chakras across the human system of which there are seven major chakras starting with the Muladhara or root chakra at the base of the spine, the Swadhisthana or the sacral chakra below the navel region, the Manipura or the solar plexus chakra located at the stomach or the upper abdomen region. the anahata or heart chakra located at the heart the visuddha or throat chakra at the throat the agna or third eye chakra between the brows and the sahasrara or crown chakra at the top of the head the first one we will see is the root chakra now root chakra is the energy center that is located at the base of your spine which makes you feel confident and gives you the ability to withstand challenges when it is balanced you feel safe and secure and grounded when it's blocked you feel insecure anxious and unstable when it's overactive you experience greed aggressiveness and materialistic tendencies ways to heal and restore balance the root chakra represents the earth So it is very vital to connect with mother earth do yoga dancing going for walks getting a massage walking barefoot these all will help to heal this chakra there are other ways to balance the root chakra one is the beej mantra chanting the beej mantra lum this clears the energy blocks in the root chakra um you could also use the crystal therapy crystals like high vibration crystals like hematite tomalin black obsidian red coral all these are used for clearing the root chakra um the essential oils are patchouli cedar wood and sandalwood oil which are highly effective as for the yoga pose for balancing root chakra is trikonasan and tree pose they are highly recommended Next we have the sacral chakra. This chakra is located below the navel region. It helps us how we relate to our own emotions and emotions of others. It also governs the creativity and sensuality of a person. When this chakra is balanced, a person feels creative, passionate, optimistic and has a healthy libido. When this chakra is blocked, The person might have a low libido, feels isolated and lonely. If the chakra is overactive, the person is overly emotional, has addictive and compulsive behaviors. Ways to balance the sacral chakra. Note that the sacral chakra represents the water element. So it is vital for us to reconnect with water to balance this chakra. like you could go for a swim sit by a lake or water stream take a relaxing bath um this will help in healing the sacral chakra the other ways that can heal and balance the sacral chakra is to chant the beej mantra vam two you could use high vibration crystals like carnelian or tag- tiger eye which help in clearing the blocks of the sacral chakra three usage of essential oils like lang lang oil and sweet orange oil are highly recommended as for the exercises the yoga pose for balancing sacral chakra are bhujangasan and warrior pose one is the solar plexus chakra which is located in the upper abdomen in the stomach area this chakra controls our confidence and self esteem level when this chakra is balanced you feel confident and have a good self image When the chakra is blocked you have self doubt lower self esteem feeling powerless and experience inferiority complex when the chakra is overactive a person is power hungry and has superiority complex now ways to balance this chakra solar plexus 
chakra represents the fire element. The past traumas are stored in the chakras as repressed memories and affect our thought patterns and behaviors. People who may have experienced strict upbringing or some kind of mental abuse in childhood need to heal their inner child to restore the balance of the solar plexus by practicing positive therapy and healing activities. Other ways to balance solar plexus chakra are chanting the beej mantra ram two you could go for high vibration crystals like amber citrine topaz yellow sapphire tiger eye they all help in cleansing and clearing the blocks in the solar plexus ch- chakra three usage of essential oils like lang lang and sandalwood oil is highly effective as for the exercise the boat pose and plank pose both are recommended for balancing the solar plexus chakra next we have the anahata or the heart chakra this is the bridge between the lower chakras and the upper chakras the lower chakras favor more material existence while upper chakras is for the spiritual well-being it relates to the ability of us to give and receive love to others and ourselves when the chakra is balanced a person is very loving compassionate and forgiving when the chakra is blocked the person is hateful intolerant not trusting others and has tendencies like jealousy when the per- when the chakra is overactive the person is self sacrificing and giving in too much in a relationship this chakra is located in the center of the chest just above the physical heart ways to heal the heart chakra the heart chakra represents the air element if you are able to forgive and let go of the past if you avoid judging and being critical be more appreciative offer help and being kind all are ways to restore the balance in the heart chakra other ways to heal and balance the chakra is chanting the beej mantra yam you could also use crystal high vibration crystals like rose quartz amazonite green opal green agate these are high vibration crystals that help in clearing the blocks of the heart chakra essential oils like lavender and sandalwood oil are highly effective as for yoga poses camel pose is highly recommended to balance the heart chakra The next one is the Visuddha or the throat chakra. This chakra is located in the throat. It gives us our ability to express our own truth. When the chakra is balanced, you are a clear communicator. When the chakra is blocked, you are unable to express your truth and you're not a good listener. When the chakra is overactive, a person has a tendency to talk loudly, yell over others and does not listen. ways to heal the throat chakra the throat chakra represents the sound element so connecting with your inner truth with mindfulness or my meditation practice will help restore and balance the throat chakra other ways to heal and balance the throat chakra is to chant the beej mantra hum and uh, two you could use crystals like aquamarine blue lace agate kyanite holite these are high vibration crystals that uh, clear the blocks in the throat chakra three you could use essential oil like sage eucalyptus peppermint oil which are highly effective as for yoga poses fish pose is highly recommended for balancing the throat chakra we have the third eye chakra which is located in the forehead between the brows and this chakra controls our ability to connect to intuition and to our inner wisdom when the chakra is balanced the person is intuitive and sees visions when it's imbalanced the person is logical and does not trust easily when it is overactive 
a person experiences nightmares and hallucinations. Ways to heal the third eye chakra. The third eye chakra represents the element light. By connecting to the inner self and calming one's mind through meditation practice will help to restore the balance in this chakra. The other ways to balance this chakra is by chanting the bij mantra om. Om is considered as a primordial sound which carries the essence of the universe. Two crystal therapy. You could use high vibration crystals that like amethyst, sodalite, lapis lazuli, azurite, sapphire which can help clear the blocks in the third eye chakra. Three essential oils like lemon oil and sandalwood oil are highly effective. As for yoga pose, child pose, meditation and alternate nostril breathing are highly recommended. The last one is the Sahasrara or the crown chakra which is the highest chakra located in the very top of our head. It's a thousand petal lotus flower sitting at the crown of the head which is the seat of highest wisdom and divine consciousness. When this chakra is balanced, a person is feels enlightened, experiences spiritual connection with the higher self, has deep faith in divine and speaks with wisdom. When the chakra is imbalanced, a person suffers from depression and has less faith. When the chakra is overactive, a person has spiritual addiction and dogmatic belief system. Ways to heal the Sahasrara or the Crown Chakra Meditation and connecting to your inner self will help restore the balance of this chakra. Other ways to balance this chakra is to chant the Bij Mantra Om. You could use high vibration crystals like clear quartz, moonstone, labradorite, which will help in clearing the blocks in the crown chakra. You could use essential oils like sandalwood oil, frankincense and lemon oil are highly recommended. As for exercises, corpse pose or shavasan, meditation and alternate nostril breathing are highly effective for balancing the crown chakra. This brings us to the end of this session. Hope you found the information resourceful. Thank you for watching TLV Talks. Please like, share, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. See you next time. Bye-bye.